up here. My my uh, YouTube live wasn't going to let me go. So now I've got, I think it's, I think it's doing something now. Jenny's working on fingerless mittens. Hi, mom. Uh, let me see. Okay, now I got to look back through everybody's messages. Diane Shar, Julie, Summer Moonshaw. Hi, Aunt Jackie. Diane working on scarves and hats. Stacy, Holly. Holly's still working on her twists and turns. Christina got her, um, she's doing it kind of out of order. So she's got one of her cabled sections done. Uh, she's been posting on the um, Craft Along group, which is kind of fun to see. Mom exercising. Jenny, fingerless mitts. Jeweled X Infinity Scarf. Nicole, knitting on a sock. Marcina, Cindy, <laughs> hi, John, <laughs> Julie, hi, tell Mondo hi, too, if he's watching, Be working on your VBAC tea, okay, so if you just popped on, tell me hi, tell me what you're working on, I don't, um, I don't see who's watching unless you put something in the comments, so I, I like knowing who's watching, Terry working on twists and turns and a hat, Excellent. All right. I think I think Melissa is going to try and keep an eye on both YouTube and Facebook if she can. Um, we're trying to do both. So if for some reason the Facebook feed decides it's going to go kaput, jump over to YouTube, um, the Little Yarn Shop channel on YouTube and we should be live there too. Sarah made a hat, now back to Stephen West. There's Mary working on Arena, excellent. Okay, so we can go ahead and get started. Welcome to Monday Motivation. Today is Monday, November 21st, 2023. Look at that, I didn't even have to look at my piece of paper today. I'm pretty impressed with myself. Um, my name's Kristen. I am the owner of the Little Yarn Shop located in downtown Saginaw, Michigan, inside the SBRC marketplace. I should not be sitting in this chair. Hopefully it doesn't drive you guys too crazy when I start like swiveling around. <laughs> we got new chairs for either end of the table and they're nice ergonomic swivel chairs with wheels. So hopefully I don't end up on the floor at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Although you guys come to me for entertainment, I'm sure. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Laura. Thank you. Thanksgiving is coming up. Yes, for sure. Um, I had the opportunity, <laughs> see you guys laughing. I had the opportunity to get more um, chairs like this for around the table, but I decided um might be a bit of a liability. And at least if, uh, is that not what I said? Didn't I say? November 21st? Did I not say 2022? <laughs> well, <laughs> um, we decided probably having chairs on wheels all around the table, table, especially when some of my regulars are in their 70s and 80s, probably isn't uh, ideal. <laughs> so, see, I should have looked up a piece of paper for the date. Oh, well. Um, so shop hours this week with it being the holiday or a holiday week, the entire marketplace will be open Wednesday, closed Thursday and open Friday and Saturday, all the normal, hmm, I think the normal hours, 10 to six Wednesday, 10 to six Thursday, nope, closed Thursday, 10 to six Friday and Saturday. Um, for those of you who aren't in retail and may not uh, be getting 500 emails from different companies, Friday is Black Friday, Saturday is Small Business Saturday. Um, both days are good days to go out and shop small. I posted a few photos or something. I posted something this weekend about the fact that V and I were doing some 
small business shopping. Um, we try and do that as often as we can. And I feel like we've done quite a bit of that this, even in this last week. Yes, small business Saturday. So for us, Friday and Saturday are, we're gonna have the same deals going both days. Um, if you can't come Friday, you can come Saturday. We will have kits for the Dreaming Color Cowl. What is it called? Out of line cowl. So Dreaming Color is dyeing up skeins of yarn that are done in a method called um, planned pooling or intentional pooling. So the kits will have one skein of fingering weight yarn and it's their smushy with cashmere. Um, stitch markers, a printed copy of the pattern, and it all comes in a cute little um, uh, sort of a see-through bag. I can't think of what it's called, um, but that is what I am wearing. So the one I showed you, there, there are three different colors it's coming in. Um, so one is this kind of pale green with corals. I know it's, it's hard to see. Um, but it's pale green with corals. I think that's as best as we could tell. E, I did not knit my headband. This is actually just a plain old fabric headband that I found that looks like it's knitted. <laughs> so I'm cheating because my hair is a little bit wild today. Um, so Dreaming Color was kind enough to send, pre-send a sample skein for me to be able to knit up and have a shop sample here. So it's done where you start flat, like a traditional triangular shawl. Then when you get to a certain circumference, you join it in the round to turn it into a cowl. So for those of you who are not cowl people, you could easily keep this um, not joined, keep it flat and continue with the pattern as it's written and get the same look, but more in a shawl form. For someone who wanted a wider neckline, if you wanted it not so snug up on your neck, you could knit more rows before you join it in the round. It's a pretty flexible pattern. Um, it's on size six needles, which is why it's nice and big for a one skein project. I had probably, Initially, I thought a third, but I think I weighed, I had like 20 grams left from this ball that I was working from. Um, it says to go like you get to a certain point and then it says seven to nine inches from there. I did eight inches and decided that was enough and I was ready to be on to the next thing. So it's still plenty, plenty big, but with the benefit to make it a little bit bigger. I am really, really, really hoping that these kits get to me by Friday. Um, there's not a lot of time between now and then. Uh, Veronica, the owner of Dreaming Color, um, I texted her this morning asking her um, the status of my shipment because I hadn't gotten a shipping confirmation. They went out today. So fingers crossed that I get them Wednesday. If not, I might have them here halfway through the day on Friday because they're coming via USPS and I never know what time they're coming in here. Hi, Oriana. Yeah, so the colors on this one, Diane um, is commenting on it. This is their, I don't even know, it had a tag on it, but I didn't look to see if there was a color name. The pop color is like a vibrant purple um, violet. And then the background color, this is not doing it any justice. It's this beautiful pale green with bits of pale pink, some pale teals, turquoises. And it's super simple. It is just like the, um, hi, Jackie, working on your Christmas shawl. Jackie, how are the beads coming on your shawl? I'm curious. 
um, the bright side scarf was one that we talked about a couple months ago and has a very similar method where you're knitting in stockinette for most of the fabric until you get to those little pops of color. Um, so super simple, really quick. I did, I knit this one in two days, you guys. It's on size six needles, so it goes pretty quickly. So I am hoping to have those here Friday and Saturday. I am, you, I should be able to get one shipped to you, Diane. Um, I feel a little bit bad in the past. I have talked about some things ahead of time. And then when it came time to being in store on Black Friday or Small Business Saturday, I haven't had things available for customers that come in. So I have been told by Dream and Color that I can reorder these skeins of yarn for sure. And I'm pretty sure I can do more kits from them. If not, we will make our own kits. I have a bead store here. We can make stitch markers and um, they won't be quite the same, but so if you're not able to get one in person and if I don't have any left Friday or Saturday to be able to ship any, or if you're out of town, and you want me to save you one, um, still let me know what you're interested in and I can put you on the list for the reorder. I already told them for sure we need more. Um, so I just don't know how long that's going to take to get to us. If you are not local, but you want something, you can call the shop Friday or Saturday, and then we can pull from whatever we have in stock that way as well. Jackie, trees are done, starting to work on candy canes. Excellent. Jackie's doing this beautiful um, red, white, and green Christmas shawl. And then she decided she needed to make it a little fancier. So she's putting beaded trees in there. I can't wait to see it. She usually comes in on Wednesday. So I'm hoping, nope, I know I'm not going to see you this Wednesday, Jackie, because you will be in Pennsylvania. So I have to wait to see it. Uh, so... I will have the kits for the dream and color. We will have, I just got a box today from Katrinkles. I got all kinds of new goodies from them that I haven't gotten before. Um, a couple things I wanted to show off. Oh, Friday, okay. So every year, Katrinkles does a set of um, holiday stitch markers. This year, it's, and maybe it is every year, three sweaters and three balls of yarn, but they're, some of them are acrylic. And then there's the little ball of yarn that is wood. My YouTube people, I'm sorry. There we go. We might be able to get it in. Um, there are some shiny ones in there. So I will have a bunch of sets of these. They're 2022 holiday stitch markers. I've got a bunch of different of the little square. Um, I almost want to call them like cheat sheets. Um, a lot of you have gotten them from us before. There are some that have like brioche stitches, um, reminders on make one left, make one right, uh, knit two together, SSK. There's a wraps per inch one. One of the new things that they came out with this summer is a darning loom. So we've got a bunch of those here in the shop as well. So all of this will be um, on display and available Friday, Saturday. Obviously, it's going to be for sale here beyond that, but that'll be kind of the, the reveal of all of the, the Katrinkles things. We will have draw your discount. So we will have a basket with a bunch of little folded pieces of paper. When you come to check out, you get to draw from there. And it could be, you, you could get bonus um, fiber funds, which we'll talk about in a second. You could get a percentage off your purchase. You could get a free gift. 
I think that's it. The percent off ranges from 10% to there is one in there that has 50% off in there. So ah, I sat here too long, you guys, hang on. I'm not gonna roll my chair across the room. Not even that far from it. I'm at the other end of the table. Uh, so we'll have draw your discount both Friday and Saturday. Fiber funds uh, promotion starts Friday as well. For those of you that got the email from me today, um, there was actually a link in the email that you could send to people and have them purchase early. It is set up to be done early. Officially, the gift card promotion starts Friday. For every $50 in gift cards you buy, you get a bonus $10 fiber funds to spend in January. So think like Kohl's cash. And there is no limit on that. So you could buy yourself or have somebody buy you a $200 gift certificate and get a, would that be $40 in fiber funds to spend in January. So the gift certificates are standard LYS gift certificates don't expire. There's no expiration on those. The bonus fiber funds are good for January only. So that can be done in person, online, over the phone. I will try and post on Friday. I'll try and make a post on Friday that has a link directly to the page where you can purchase the gift cards that way you can share with your family and friends or forward that right on to somebody else so they can have it right at their fingertips and know what to get you sometimes we have to be a little um obvious with <laughs> with the things we want i sent my husband a link to an article that was talking about how pink the artist is going to be in michigan um next summer and he kind of sent me a question mark and i said if you needed you needed ideas for me here buy me this <laughs> we'll see i don't know if that actually happened or not but um let's see so that's for black friday and small business saturday the i'm not calling them the 12 days deals i'm i guess december deals i i haven't figured out if they're going to start december 1st or cyber monday um, probably December 1st is when the deals will start. I sent a newsletter out today at the bottom of the newsletter or toward the bottom of the newsletter. There's a link um, for you to send me an email if you want to be added to the list of the daily list of the promotions. I don't want to spam everybody and have all of the emails sent every day to, you know, I don't know, it's a lot of people on the email list. So if you're interested, if you got our newsletter, make sure you open it, hit reply on there and um, we can either reply to the email itself or you can click on the button that kind of makes a new email and sends it to me so we know to add you to the list. If you don't get our newsletter, but you're interested in either getting the newsletter and or getting the daily promotions, um, just throw something in the comments. You don't have to put your email address in the comments, but put a little note in the comments and we can touch base with you. Make sure that you're on the list too. It's, I still haven't decided what <laughs> what's gonna be on, the, on those deals yet. Um, I'll think about that on Sunday. <laughs> Um, okay, so that's what's coming up. I talked about what I'm wearing. Now we can get to the actual like knitting of things. Talking about knitting. I am I'm almost, almost, almost done with my rear view window sweater. I got a little distracted by trying to get this cowl done for you guys, done and blocked. So I got that. Um, had it lean it up against the heater vent today, trying to dry it in time, which is got it's got a little oddball edges on it because of the way I pinned it. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Um, 
so this kind of took a back seat, but it is done. The it's done being knitted. So this is my rear view window sweater by Casapinka. This pattern will be released. Um, Kathy, <laughs> I did. It's not a knitted headband. It's a it's a store bought. Well, I mean, somebody sewed it, but it's like a knitted looking fabric. It's not actually knitted. I cheated a little bit. <laughs> um, so the Casapinka pattern will come out November 25th. It's knit using um, a strand of mohair held with a fingering weight yarn. It's a really unique construction. You start at one sleeve. You cast on that sleeve. When you're ready to get to the body, you cast on for the front and the back. So I know it looks kind of funky. Maybe if I hold it this way. <laughs> you could, there are some patterns that are made like this so that just have some buttons on the side. You could do that if you wanted more of an open side look, but it will, I will be seaming it down the sides, but it's got this little lace pattern across the front. Ah, it's too heavy. And then oh, it's called rear view window because in the back, there's a tiny little piece of lace Kind of like the front window and the rear view window, I guess, of a, of a car. So we have some mohair here in the shop. Uh, I used the new Malabrigo uh, mohair silk blend. I do have more on its way to me also. So I have some of the colors here. We can pull the colors up online and talk about that too, if there are certain colors that you want. I'm really happy with how that sweater turned out. Maybe I'll be wearing that next Monday. We'll see. It might be a little bit too warm to be wearing in here, but I never know from one day to the next. The other thing I'm working on, the front page of Ravelry gets me into trouble sometimes when I'm scrolling through like the hot right now. This pattern came up by Lyrical Knits. I love her patterns. Um, Mary Annarella, um, I first was introduced to her back when my mom started knitting sweaters. She um, really likes this designer's style, but she goes by Lyrical Knits and it's this really cool cowl called Killer Queen, which every time I look at the pattern, my brain starts thinking a queen song, but it's done with a worsted weight yarn. She uses Malabrigo Rios, which, you know, we love. And I decided I thought it would be really cool to do a holiday version. So I am doing a green and white version. Nope. Obviously not green and white, green and red. Um, this one is done flat. And then you have the option to either seam it or, um, do afterthought buttonholes and put buttons on it. So the it starts in one little corner and then you work your way down. So I'm still expanding it right now. For those of you that have knit the, um, the Andrea Maori shift cowl, um, it's done in the same sort of way. It is not stranded color work it is mosaic. So you're only working with one color at a time and it's just some slip stitches. I love these little, <laughs> she calls them mini bubbles. So she's got like the bigger bubbles and then little mini bubbles. It's such a fun little technique. And really there's one more stitch pattern that I haven't gotten to yet. There are these, she calls them martini glasses. So these little, right up in there these little guys. That's the only stitch pattern I haven't done yet. But other than that, it just kind of repeats between those three in different um, frequencies and amounts. Mom says, I love her description. So, yeah, it says, 
Uh, pop open a bottle of bubbly and cast on a fabulously effervescent cowl. Slip stitch patterning, make the color work easy. You only ever use one yarn. Don't let all the bubbles go to your head. So that makes a little bit more sense now. She's got champagne and big bubbles and little bubbles, tiny bubbles. Super simple. Um, I used my new Forte needles for the Dream and Color cowl. They called for a size six, and it just so happens that this pattern calls for a size six also. So I'm working on using my new Forte needles from Chai Gu. Um, I am taking names for <laughs> Gretchen, thanks. Um, she had them in the As You Wish Shawl. Oh, cool. The Chaigu Forte needles. My first shipment is in and are on their way out to people if they ordered them to be shipped. Otherwise, they're here in the shop and have been getting picked up. The next order I'm hoping will be sometime not too far into the first of the year. I am taking names. And if you want to start putting money toward the needles, I'm guessing they're going to be, well, I can tell you, they're going to be somewhere between $300 and $350. And that's for sizes two up to, let me grab the set. And I can tell you. <laughs> they come in this beautiful full weather case, heavy duty zipper. Sizes two up to sizes 15. So you get the, whoops, my little magnet's not stuck. We all get there. Okay. Um, five inch tips. The middle dark section of the tip of the needle is made with African blackwood. It is remnants from musical instruments, woodwind instruments, clarinet, oboe. Bassoon, I think that's what we determined last week. You get a pen, you get scissors, you get a stitch gauge, you get a tape measure, you get a little case that has all sorts of notions in there. Um, all the cords that come with it, you get three of the large cords and three of the small cords to make a 24, a 32, and a 40 inch circular needle. They all are the new Swiv 360 swivel cords. So like I said, the first set, the first shipment pre-sold, sold out. And I've got, I've got a list going that probably already has close to a dozen people on it for the next shipment. So if you want in on that, let me know. But I am loving... I'm loving the needles for, for a wood needle. There is, there is no catch where the metal joins the wood at either end. I, it is so smooth. It's a similar concept to some needles that Knitter's Pride has had, but these are, it's a Chagu product. So it's a very well-made and that's one of the reasons it took longer to get to us than um, they originally anticipated was because they want to make sure that the quality is where it should be. So back to the cowl, it takes one skein of your main color, two skeins of a contrast color. Nope. Sometimes you guys, I just talk and I don't really pay attention to what I'm actually saying. Two skeins of your main color, one skein of your contrast color. So my main color is, this is both Malabrigo Rios. My main color is Ivy. My contrast color is Ravelry Red. Uh, we played around with a bunch of different colors. And I'm really happy with how this is turning out. I, I originally went with a, a red that was a little bit deeper, but I love this pop of Victoria. And I almost think it could pass for tulips if it were a spring cowl versus being a holiday cowl with that bright red in there. So I'm really excited to work on that some more too. 
So, you know, we have a lot of Rios, a lot of Malabrigo here in the shop. So if that's something you're interested in, we can play with color. We've got that. Um, that's what I'm working on. December deals, we talked about that. Other things up and coming, but this will be after the first of the year. Uh, we are participating in Knitted Wits. There, there are two different clubs that we're going to be participating in with Knitted Wit, the Dyer. Um, I currently carry their sport weight. Um, tonal is primarily what I've gotten from them, their sport weight yarn. Um, but they have a club called Her Story. They've done this for quite a few years, and it's like history, only it focuses on female authors um, through the years. So each month they feature a different female author. They dye yarn inspired by that author or a book that is by that author, and you get a write-up about it. I have the option as the shop to choose what base I want for the yarns. So it's one skein. Well, I mean, I get a, a certain number of skeins every month and you can get one, you can get more than one. Um, but I can choose between sock weight, DK weight and worsted weight. So I'm kind of curious from all of you, like if you were going to do some sort of club like that, like a monthly club, what would interest you more? Would you rather have a collection of sock weight or fingering weight skeins, or would you rather have something that's a little bit heavier that you could pair with something else or pick up a couple skeins to do a different sort of project? I mean, one skein of DK or worsted would still get you a pair of fingerless mitts or a hat or a small cowl. Um, but I'm curious to know what you all would find more appealing, I guess. Um, they send, they will send like a knitted tube that shows how the yarn knits up, which is fantastic. I wish all dyers did that. Um, obviously, if you were knitting something other than a sock, your the patterning would be a bit different, but it still gives you a good idea of what the yarn's going to do. Oriana fingering or sock weight. Okay. Yeah. So just pop in the comments and tell me what you think. Um, the other club that we are doing, that we are going to participate in with um, with Knitted Wit is called Explore the Rainbow. This is the second year that they've done this. These will be DK weight skeins. Every month for 12 months, um, they are releasing a different color of the rainbow and they all coordinate together. So that's one thing with the, with the Her Story yarns. They don't coordinate month to month. Like they're all not going to be, they're not designed to be combined together for one project. You could, but they're not dyed necessarily to be coordinating. The Explore the Rainbow collection works throughout the year, works its way through the colors of the rainbow. They do, um, they do include a one skein DK weight project pattern every month, but they also um, have recommended doing you know, something like a blanket or something bigger with the rainbow of yarns. Um, so I was sort of interested in it last year, but I didn't quite jump on it in time. So I'm excited to do it for 2023. If either of those clubs are something that you think you would be interested in, let me know too, and I will start that list. Um, and we will probably do it similar, similarly to the Dream in Color Club, where if you pre-order the month, you get a little bit of a discount um, versus once we have it here in store, it'll be a little bit of a higher price. Can you do the Her Story in different weights, like one month fingering the next DK. I could. Um, Bev, you could work on the blanket monthly. As far as the Her Story, um, I think what I've opted to do, at least for the first couple months, is I'm going to get half of it in fingering weight and half of it in either DK or worsted. Um, I think because the other project is in DK, 
I don't know, I was thinking it would make more sense to get it in worsted, but maybe you could get, maybe I could get the her story in DK and it could coordinate with some of the rainbow colors. I don't know. Now my brain's going 15 different directions. Bev, you could do it either way. Um, it, I guess it depends on what the pattern is that you want. Um, I can tell you each month is going to be either. Oh, shoot. I was going to grab my phone and show you guys, but I'm using my phone for Facebook, so I can't. Um, it'll either be a pretty solid tonal color of the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, or a speckled version of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So every other month will be a speckle. Every other month will be a um, solid kind of tonal color. So if you wanted just a straight rainbow-esque blanket, you could easily knit as you go along every month. Or we could find patterns that would work really well with something like that. So ideas, we've got ideas. So those are two things that are coming up. Um, <coughs> sorry, you guys. Cough drop is not doing me much good. It's really dry in here. The Either one of those for each month will be a little bit less expensive than the Dream and Color Club that we've done in the past, primarily because it's not, um, none of their bases are a cashmere yarn. They're going to be 100% um, superwash wool, whether it's, well, their sock might have some nylon in it that I don't remember. Um, but the fingering, the DK, or the worsted will be a merino base, I guess. So that's coming up. What else? I guess we can talk about, um, I have these cute little enamel pins. Well, they're actually kind of big enamel pins here that we picked up this weekend. Um, I really, I wish everybody that it watches the lives, whether, whether it's like actually live or you go back and watch it after the fact, I wish every person had come in on Saturday, Friday or Saturday to shop the maker's market that was here. There were so many really cool vendors. Um, they had so many vendors on Saturday that they had to expand it from the ballroom and down into the lower level, into the press room. Um, and I'm, I picked up gifts for my nieces and my nephew and my mother-in-law and my mom. The guys are hard to buy for. I did pick something up small for my husband, but I picked up a couple things for me too. One of the things was um, there was an artist downstairs named Josh, and I wish I had his last name here, but he his um, website is Josh Comics. He's um, a graphic designer and he does these really cool um, stickers and enamel pins, but he had glove in the dark enamel cat pins. He had some really cool ones called glowy Bowie. Uh, they were David Bowie style, um, but they, he has this irate cat. And I couldn't, I could not decide between the white cat and the gray cat. So those of you who know me know, I just got a cat. Well, I just got two cats. A month ago and so I decided I needed both of these anything that's white on either one of these glows in the dark so like this guy oh, this guy his eyes glow this little circle around here on the outside glows her whole body glows they just were um they were the sweetest things and <laughs> so his his info because he's just a small business guy Josh Comics at Josh Comics, JoshComics.com. Oh, look, Melissa put him on there. Josh Sullivan. There we go. Um, really just and just the sweetest, greatest guy. He's lived in Florida and Texas and Michigan. I, I believe he grew up in Michigan. Um I was I was really glad to be able to support him. 
So that was Saturday, Victoria and I did quite a bit of shopping between upstairs and downstairs. Yesterday, we went to Frankenmuth for coffee. I was kind of hesitant because I think because Frankenmuth is so close, we tend to forget what a, um, hi Malcolm, we tend to forget what a tourist attraction Frankenmuth is, kind of like Birch Run. Um, when the places that we go on a regular basis, we forget how big of a draw there is. Um, but when Victoria said she wanted to go to Frankenmuth for coffee, I, I was a little hesitant, but we went ahead and went, we went to the Harvest. There are two coffee shops in the main part of Frankenmuth. There's the Harvest and then a little bit further north up the hill is the Frankenmuth Coffee House. Went to Harvest. Um, they're serving Creation Coffee now, and I think they may actually be owned by Creation now. I'm not sure, um, but they were busy, but not overly busy. They were still efficient and steady. We sat there for a little bit and had coffee and pastries. Then we wandered into mm, Mitten. Oh, now I can't think of the name of it. I posted it and I think I linked it when I um, when I um, posted yesterday, but it's just a couple stores down from the Harvest Coffee House and it's all Michigan themed, Michigan made items. Um, it's kind of like their own little vendor um, setup. They have all kinds of different um, Everything from signs to coasters to um, barbecue sauce, all, oh my gosh, so much stuff. And amazing mitten. There we go. I knew mitten was in there somewhere. <laughs> um, so we found uh, the, the woman behind the counter, the young lady behind the counter was so extremely helpful, but she kept coming in and unloading the armloads of things that Victoria and I had and taking them behind the counter. Um, unfortunately, she was so efficient, we had to kind of unwrap some of the things that she was wrapping up so we could remember what we got, but um, got something for my husband. We got more gifts for family members. I think we found something for Victoria somewhere along the way too. Um, just a really, a really cool store. And um, it just feels good knowing that we're supporting a local business. It's that supports even more local businesses. So um, it really wasn't that busy. I was really surprised where it was, it was a little bit before noon and it, there was some foot traffic, uh, but we didn't have a problem parking. It's not like you couldn't get down the sidewalks. Uh, would have been a little bit better if the wind wasn't whipping around. Today would have been a nicer day. <laughs> Although it was windy, but it was warmer. Um, so for those of you who need ideas, Melissa and I were talking about this a little bit before we before we went live, but also I have it on my note here anyways, to remind all of you who are local, um, Purple Sage Beads, which is here in the marketplace. She's down at the other end of the hallway. Um, Sarah is one of my very best friends and she's the owner down there. She has so much more than beads. She has jewelry that's already um, made and ready to go. Everything from rings, necklaces, anklets, bracelets, um, all kinds of stuff. She has some sterling silver jewelry but she also will work with anybody to create exactly what you want. Um, she makes her own jewelry. I, it's just, I think people forget that the bead store is in here and that it's so much more than a bead store. So um, just, a, just a gentle reminder that uh, there are definitely options around here. Um, Thrive Creative Innovations, in here is the same sort of deal as the Amazing Mitten place. Um, the owner, Gabrielle of Thrive, 
everything that she has in there or almost everything that she has in that shop is made in Saginaw by Saginaw makers. Um, she's got some crocheted things, some macrame things, soap, um, wood carvings, shirts, just a, a real wide variety of, of different things. So um, if you're thinking about doing local stuff, make sure that you obviously come to the yarn shop, but take some time to wander through the marketplace. Um, Beauty and Beyond, which is kind of the, the backside of the smaller circle here. Um, she has kids clothes. She makes her own um, beauty products, lotions, shampoo, conditioners, all kinds of stuff. Um, I think she's running some Black Friday and Small Business Saturday promotions over there. Um, take some time, wander around, spread the love. <laughs> Um, I think, I think I talked through everything on my list. So as a reminder, we, the marketplace is closed on Thursday for Thanksgiving. We are here Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, 10 to six. Quite a few of the businesses will be doing Black Friday, small business Saturday deals, if you want to just avoid the crowds out in the big box stores and come hang out with us, we may have a free chair or two. If things get a little bit too crazy in the store, um, you know us, we'll find some place to take over outside the shop, whether it's in the atrium or in the front lobby, we'll take over. Then you can hang out with us too. All right, I hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving, if you celebrate. Um, I hope if you're seeing family, you enjoy. I hope you're safe. And I would love to see as many of you as possible on Friday and Saturday. So have a great week, have a great Thanksgiving, and I will see you all. If I don't see you in the shop, I'll see you all on here next Monday at seven.